I'm going to live stream the Rico Theta Z1 over onto Facebook using a OBS. If you're interested in setting up OBS with the Z1 here, uh, there's a separate tutorial that uh, can show you how to set up this type of view with, with the camera. But we're going to focus on the specifics to live stream this thing over to Facebook. First, we need to use the Facebook Live. Uh, I have it right here, but if you don't have it, if you click on these three dots here, then go to live video right here on Facebook. So once you select the live video, you'll be presented with the Facebook Live producer here, and you can now set up your stream settings. So this is my webcam. It's not the uh, Z1 yet. We're going to have to set up the stream using the stream key. So I've selected the, the stream key here. So there's this toggle, which is not enabled by default, which is the, the toggle for uh, 360 videos or a standard webcam. What we're going to want to do is grab the 360 video standard. There's different options here. Uh, don't use cube map or 180. We're going to focus in on the 360 video standard equa rectangular monoscopic. So once you toggle it, this is the default setting right here. Okay, so it's it's on. So a new setting here. I didn't notice one, this one before. The Z1 can only stream mono from the USB cable if you're using the mics on the Z1. So unless you've got some additional kit going here, this won't actually make an impact. On OBS, go into Settings, select Stream. Uh, the service, you can select the Facebook Live and then take the default server. So next, you're going to need the Stream key here. Let's do that. The Stream key is right here. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it in. Apply. Click OK. Now I'm going to start the stream. So I press this little button here to start the stream. Once you start the stream, you, you can preview it here. And the thing is in uh, 360, I'm kind of a challenge for bandwidth here. But then now you can go live right here. So now I've got a live event here that's in 360. And you can uh, use it like a normal live event. There's a playlist here, which I'll put in the description. Uh, I just covered the specifics to Facebook in this video to make it a little quicker, but uh, you, you probably need to set up the Z1 for streaming. So I recommend this video here, the camera setup. This would include the firmware upgrade. If you're gonna stream from Windows and you wanna set up OBS as the way to get the stream over to Facebook, you're going to need to watch this video as well too. It covers a driver for Windows 10 that you're going to need in order for OBS to detect uh, the, the live stream properly from the Theta Z1. And then you're going to need to set up the encoder on the Z1 itself. Uh, to get it onto uh, Facebook, it's very similar to getting it up on YouTube. It's almost the same thing. So you may want to watch this other video on how to stream to YouTube as well too. And then at that point, go to this, this video. If you want to use a mobile phone to stream it or the wireless streaming plugin, I think you can refer to these two videos. Although it is does show how to stream to YouTube, the uh, process is largely the same for Facebook. If you have any questions, uh, drop a note in the comment section. Now, if you are finding the video helpful, like the video and subscribe to the channel. That way we'll know what type of content to produce in the future. Have a great day.